but he's scrappy. And I was really impressed with him, and I think if he puts on some size, puts on some muscle, gets a little more experience, he can do anything he wants in the wrestling business. Yeah, he's, uh, really impressed with him. he's probably at least 15 years younger than you. With the man that's... Yeah, oh, uh, he would have been making about 12. <laughs> about 12. <laughs> Yeah, Jeff Jeff Harris is one of the one of the better new breed superstars himself. I mean, yeah, new. Don't let me forget the first blood match that I had with him is on my DVD, BH DVD, available at HarkerDirge dot com or available at any of the wrestling shows where you come see Harker Dirge wrestle. Pick it up, and see the match. First blood, really graphic. Little plug there, shameless little plug. Yeah. Um, so uh, the the bad thing about doing this interview is I I know most of this stuff myself because I've known you for a couple of years. But uh, who are some big name wrestlers that you've wrestled? Oh boy, I've been uh, fortunately booked in some of the biggest names in the world. Uh, Yeah, I heard. I remember a nice little funny story you told me about the Rick Steiner thing, but I think I'll leave. I may just leave that for another day. <laughs> so, uh, do you have any Hall of Fame predictions for uh, this year? Anybody that you'd want to see go in? Yeah, Hawk and Animal. I'll tell you another one, uh, WWE Hall of Fame. Uh, somebody that they don't like to give much credit to, who I think is a good role model and a good spokesperson for what he believes in, uh, the ultimate warrior. They turned him into a little bit of a joke with a DVD they put out uh, a couple of years ago, like the uh, self-destruction of the ultimate warrior. 
pleasure. Uh, how could it be that a man self-destructed when he's retired on his own terms with millions of dollars in the bank doing what he loves to do, which is motivational speaking, and uh, he's healthy and he's away from wrestling? I think the guy's a role model. He's another guy like the ultimate warrior. He made that, that company a lot of money. Yeah, it's uh, it's kind of unfortunate. Some of the guys that that in all actuality should go in, who are true legends of the sport, may never get their shine in a WWE Hall of Fame. It's kind of oh, sad. We, we need a little respect for my brothers in paint, the Road Warriors and the Ultimate Warrior. Brothers in paint, I like that. I've never heard anybody say that before. But, uh, yeah, um, I'm pretty sure that you're going to, I'm not I'm not certain, but uh, I'm sure you are going to be at the Newbreed Show this Sunday. My knowledge, the big uh, three-year anniversary show for New Breed Wrestling Alliance, Danville, Illinois, at uh, 400 Sager Street. Big uh, 50-man over-the-top rope battle royal. Uh, Harker Dirch is going to be there. That that right there makes it uh, makes it something to go to because uh, Bloody Harker Dirch is going to be wrestling. Yeah, where he where he slapped Miss Amanda, I thought that was very very grotesquely wrong yeah. on his he part. Done that, and uh, I was he made a mistake of doing it while I was sitting out there by ringside. I put a stop to that butt quick. So instead of getting Eric Grubbington one on one, I get Blake Steele. Oh, Blake Steele, Eric Ruffington's little buddy. Yeah, you might, but you might want to watch out for a certain midnight sun who might be creeping around the hollow hell of the Newbreed Arena. Yeah, midnight sun. He uh, he uh, kind of stole my belt there. It was Highway Robbery, the uh, Midwest Championship. But I think midnight sun, like Eric Ruffington, is going to do everything he can do to dodge Bloody Harper Dirge in the future, and I don't blame him because I would tear that mask off of him. And stick it where the midnight sun don't shine. Well, uh, do you have any anything else you want to add there, Harker? <laughs> as far as movie, uh, no. The people need to be out there, see the show, see what I do next, because you never know. There's wrestlers out there that call themselves unpredictable, but there's only one that truly is unpredictable, and that's Bloody Harker Nerds. You never know what I'm going to do next. Yeah, I'm kind of I'm kind of glad you said you're not in the battle royal because I was uh, I think I am and I'm kind of afraid that me and you were gonna have to go toe to toe or something. I probably would have pissed myself. Well, I mean, you never know. I might have come hungry, and if I come hungry, I just might use my teeth. And if I use my teeth, I just might draw blood. Don't be don't be eating no Canadian bacon. I don't I don't want I don't want no problems, Harker. I'm a vegetarian. Well, that's good. I would never eat a Canadian bacon. <laughs> it's bad for the cholesterol. Especially one the size of me, but, uh... <laughs> I might get indigestion, huh? Yeah. You might be making two or three trips to the toilet at the Newbridge show, but... Uh, but, uh, that's all I got, Harker, and, uh, thanks for coming on my show. And, uh, we got a big... Big uh, upcoming weeks with Cloverleaf Radio. Former ECW owner Todd Gordon is going to be on here next week. And Pitbull Gary Wolf. We have Jack Evans, Michael Porter, Grandmaster Sexy Brian Christopher coming on in the next couple weeks. So you guys should stay tuned on MySpace, YouTube, and SouthClick.com. This has been Cloverleaf Radio. Harker, I'd like to thank you once again. Thank you.